Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video we're going to explore the topic of having the light fixtures in the home either on or off while doing real estate photography. So I get asked sometimes whether or not I prefer to have the lights on or off in the home when I do my real estate photography. There's definitely real estate photographers out there that prefer one way over the other. So I just wanted to cover this topic here on my channel and also demonstrate a comparison between the two just to show the difference and also discuss the reasons why you might choose one way over the other. So first off, let's discuss why would you consider shooting with the lights off? Well, I think the main reason is light control. So what do I mean by that? I mean dealing with a singular light source or maybe two at the most if you're using a flash. And what are the advantages of that? Well, if you're not having light fixtures on in the home, you're not having a mixed lighting scene with color cast and all that going on where you have different color temperatures, such as the light fixtures being maybe around 3200 Kelvin versus the light coming in through the windows being, you know, 55, 5600 Kelvin. So a lot of different color temperatures going on there, which will save you a lot of work in editing, not having to do all that color correcting work. Another reason you might want to shoot with the lights off is that it achieves a certain look or style, which might help differentiate yourself from the competition in your market. You know, most people are going to be shooting with the lights on. That's the norm. I think overall, the vast majority of people do. So when it comes down to it is that this is a preference thing. You know, there's no right or wrong answer here. I just want to demonstrate the difference between the two, show it to you. Maybe this is something you want to think about or consider implementing into your own work. Real estate photographers might go for the lights off look because it's more of a designer look. Let's hop on the internet right now and I'll show you what I mean by that. So what do I mean by the designer look? If you go to a website like Pottery Barn here or something similar, you'll notice that almost all, if not all of the photos on these websites, you know, there will be no light fixtures on. It's one singular light source, clean, even white balance. You see the lamp in this picture is not on. If you scroll down here, this bed here, the lamps are not on, you know, this, the windows semi blown out too. That's part of this look. You know, they don't really mask in the windows to see outside. I mean, they're selling the stuff inside, not outside. So, I mean, that could go for real estate photography as well. There are real estate photographers that prefer this look, not really seeing through the windows. So that's another preference thing. You know, you know, these are all things to consider when, you know, developing your own style. So that's kind of the look here that I'm explaining with having the lights off. So now that we've explored the reasons why you might shoot with the lights off and the look that it can achieve, let me take you on site to a shoot where we'll shoot a couple rooms with the lights on and off. And then I'll take you back here on the computer and we'll compare the images. This home was not the best example for this video. It's sort of an older home, not that nice or fancy or whatever. It's not a sleek modern home with sleek lines and all that. Those type of homes, those modern homes, you know, those more designer type homes definitely lend themselves, in my opinion, better to this style of shooting with the lights off. But, you know, whatever, this still gets the point across, but just bear that in mind. But anyway, let's jump over to the on-site video and then I'll meet you back here and we'll take a look at the images. All right guys, so I'm now here on-site at a shoot. We'll take some shots of a few different rooms here with the lights on and the lights off so we can compare the two later. And I will also do both bracketed HDR style shots and also flambient shots. I have my flash with me so we can compare those as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. You know, so we got a, you know, mixed light situation here, which is typical for real estate photography, interior real estate photography of any kind. <laughs> if you're using any of the interior lights, having them on, uh, we got, you know, obviously different color temperatures here. We got the cool outside light coming in. That's you know, bluer is the ambient light. And then we got this really orange warm light from the light fixture. So, all right, so I'm first gonna fire off my bracket shots here. All right, now I'm gonna turn the lights off and we'll take a shot again. All right, so now obviously the lights are all off. You can see the chandeliers off and whatever, the, the kitchen light over here is off. We're dealing with strictly one light source now coming from the window. So I'm gonna take this shot now. All right, and we'll see how those two compare later once we get them back into the computer. But now I'm going to do the same thing, but flambient. Now I'm gonna take this shot. And this is where I'm gonna do my flash shot at. 
All right, perfect, that's my flash shot. And I'm also gonna get one in this adjacent room here. Now I'm gonna turn the lights off in the room and do this without the lights. I'm gonna turn my flash trigger back on. All right, so that's good for this room. Let's take this over to another room and do this process again so we have another example. All right, so I got my shot set up here in the next room. As you can see, there's three lamps in here. The lamps aren't outputting a ton of light, but you can see how much orange light they're emitting all around here and over here on the side. Like, so a lot of color cast going on from the orange lights. So let's take this bracketed shot here with these lamps on. All right, so now I'm gonna turn these lights off and do the same shot again. All right, so now we just have the window as our only light source, so fire these brackets off. All right, very good. Now I'm gonna do a flambient shot. Take my ambient shot. Turn the flash trigger back on. That's good. Do one over here too, I think. Now I'm gonna turn these lights off. Get my ambient shot. Out there. Flash trigger on. All right, cool, so we got all our shots now. Let's take these back to the computer. All right, so now let's take a look at these images in Lightroom and compare them. So I did do some editing here. I just basically, you know, took the HDR brackets and blended them, hand blended them together. And also the Flambian images I put together and composited so we can look at, you know, a, more or less a final image. The only aspect of editing that I did not do to any of these images is any color correcting whatsoever. So you can really see the color cast that the light fixtures create. Uh, obviously you can do some color correcting there and do some subduing or eliminating of those color casts. That's an additional work, you know, during editing. So I didn't do that step. Uh, I just left it the way it was so we can really see the difference between the two. So without further ado, let's take a look on the computer and we'll jump into Lightroom and see these images side by side. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. The first image we have here is the dining room image. Uh, these first ones are the HDR or bracketed images, so no flash in these images. So obviously here we have the lights on. So you can see up here on the ceiling, there's you know this orange color cast coming off the light fixture onto the ceiling. And obviously down on the table here and you know other areas of the room, the wall here, this piece of furniture, there's an orange cast being you know emitted from this light fixture. So now let's look at the next image here with the lights off so you can really see the warmness that has gone way down overall in the image look at the walls and the ceiling and the furniture you can see that the temperature overall has cooled down a lot you know you can see the you know the wood looks a lot a warmer toned and you know so this orange cast you can see you know how much of an orange cast that that light is emitting so that's the difference there between those two. Yeah, so two significantly different looks here. Let's compare them side by side. So now you can view them you know, side by side here um, and just get a good idea, you know, the difference between the two here. Yeah, so that's the HDR ones, the bracketed ones. Now let's take a look at the flambient of this same room. All right, so here's the flambient image of the dining room as well. Here's, you know, with the lights on, the light fixture is on. So just in general, if you're shooting Flamian and using a flash, the light fixtures in the room are gonna have way less of an impact on the look of your image, such as color casts or affecting the wood tones uh, in the image like I was showing you in the HDR version where it was making the wood tones warmer or the orange color cast on the wall because the whole reason for the flash is to overpower these ambient light sources and give you a clean white balance and accurate color across your image. All right, so here's the flambient image with the lights off. So as I was just saying, not nearly as much of a difference between lights on and off with flambient as they are with HDR. So HDR lights on 
HDR lights off, flambient lights on, flambient lights off. So these two are a lot closer. Now if we do the comparison view, so as you see, there's not a whole lot of difference going on here. You can see what the light's doing to the ceiling here, sort of making shadows and stuff. Um, but the vibe is not much different here uh, overall because the flash is the dominant light source here and eliminating all those color casts anyway. So now maybe if we compare lights on HDR with lights on flambient. So that's on the left here, this is lights on HDR. And this on the right is lights on flambient. Just to give you an idea of the two of those compared next to each other. Again, you can see the orange tones on the wall from you know the light source here. So again, with the HDR image, you could you know eliminate or almost eliminate or greatly minimize the color cast going on, these orange color casts that we're talking about in more editing work. Again, I didn't do that step here. I usually would do that step when editing HDRs, but uh, for this comparison, I just wanted to show the difference. So I just wanted to make sure to point that out again. And again, we can compare um, lights off HDR to lights off Flambian here too, real quick. So on the left, lights off HDR and on the right, lights off Flambian. So those are those two compared side by side. So you can get an idea. All right, so let's move on to the next image here, this living room image. So here we have living room image, lights on HDR. So obviously we got a lot of, you know, color cast orange coming off all these lamps that are in the room here, all over the walls and the ceiling everywhere, floor, the whole thing. So that's lights on HDR. Here's lights off HDR. So one singular light source, you know, obviously the white balance overall is much more even across the whole image. You know, we're only dealing with the light coming through the window here. So no color casts going on here anymore. So here on the left, lights on HDR. On the right, lights off HDR. So, you know, two different vibes here going on. All right, now let's move on to Flambient. So this is Flambient here, lights on. And here's Flambient, lights off. Again, less of a difference between these two. Lights on, lights off. Let's compare these side by side here. I mean, you are still getting color casts here when the flambient, I mean, these lamps are right up against the wall. So, you know, there's not much you can do about that necessarily. I mean, obviously we can do some color correction here, um, editing wise and to minimize or eliminate that if we wanted to. It's not necessary necessarily, but uh, we could do that. Um, even with the flambient image, you still get color cast sometimes in these situations. Um, but here, you know, this is a nice clean, even white balance image, just no light lamps, you know, emitting any sort of color cast here. So yeah, those are those two compared. Now let's compare, here's lights on HDR with lights on flambience. So on the left here is HDR lights on, on the right flambient uh, lights on. <laughs> you can see way less color casts going on with the Flambian image. You know, we got a lot of orange in here in this image on the floor, walls, all this. Whereas in the Flambian, the walls are pretty good. The floor is pretty good. It's really just the immediate areas around the lamps that have the color casts. So that's lights on HDR and Flambian. Now let's compare lights off HDR with lights off Flambian. So here on the left is lights off HDR, and on the right, lights on, lights off flambient, I mean. So as you notice on the right here with the flambient, there's better illumination going on in the room. Uh, the ceiling maybe was a little hot. I didn't, I should have, you know, maybe subdued that a little bit better. Uh, it's a little flashy. But you know, better color in the furniture uh, as you compare it to, you know, the HDR, you'll see like these colors are just more rich. And that is, you know, what you get with Flambian, that's one of the advantages of it. You know, even the wood tone, it's just more, more uh, richer color, accurate color. Yeah, so those are lights off compared, you know, together there. And then finally here at, at the end, I just, I, this was another shoot I did, but this is like a recent renovation. I just wanted to show you a more modern looking house. Um, you know, so here we got these can lights. Uh, most modern houses have these, you know, recessed or overhead lighting. Um, so this is lights on here, 
and a lot of these modern light fixtures too are more daylight balanced so less color cast going on but um, here's the lights off so lights on lights off lights on lights off and this is the HDR by the way I didn't do a flambian this was just a shoot that I was doing I just wanted to throw that in there um, in the mix here just to show that so here's compared side by side so lights on on the left and lights off on the right so those are those two compared all right guys, so I hope this demonstration gave you a good idea of shooting with the lights on versus shooting with the lights off and the different looks that it can achieve and maybe some food for thought on whether you wanna implement this sort of thing into your own work. So for me personally, I shoot with lights on almost all the time. I think it gives the image more life having the light fixtures on. It makes it look like, you know, sort of homey and like the people are living there. It's less sterile sort of looking, if that makes sense. Uh, that's my preference. Again, this is a preference thing. Uh, there are times when I will leave the lights off, like if I'm in a big room with huge windows or like skylights and there's a, just abundant light coming in or like a sunroom, I may not turn the lights on just to make my life easier for editing, not having to deal with color casts when the sunlight really is the dominant light anyway, so why not? Also shooting for designers or stagers, I do get those shoots every now and again. Again, like the Pottery Barn website I showed you, that's the look that they tend to be going for. So that's the, the look that I try to give them. So I will turn the lights off for that. If, so if I was to go the lights off route across the board for my real estate photography, I would definitely do the flambient method and use a flash. I just think it will help illuminate the room better uh, having that flash shot. And a lot of rooms, you might just have one single window in it, like a bedroom for instance. So it's not gonna be a lot of ambient light coming in. So it's gonna be hard for HDR to really pull that off and have it look good. Um, the flash will help in those situations. There are gonna be rooms such as like maybe an interior bathroom or laundry room or something uh, that has no window in it whatsoever. So you're gonna have to turn the lights on in those situations, even if your you know, style is gonna be lights off, it's not gonna be every single room. I mean, it might be 99% of the rooms. It might be all the rooms in certain houses, but you know, there all will be those situations like that where there's no window, no light source, so you will have to turn the light on. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know your thoughts on this subject as well. So please leave a comment down below on what you think about shooting lights on versus shooting lights off. Also down below in the description, you'll find links to a sky replacement pack that I offer. Also Photoshop actions and Lightroom presets. Lots of good stuff there. Also my Patreon page, which gets you access to my private Discord group, where there's a great group of people there helping each other out with real estate photography. Also, you can message me there directly for any consultation needs you might have. So that's a lot of great stuff, so check that out. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Really appreciate the support. Thanks again so much, and I'll see you again soon on the next one.